Hello. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday to everyone. Um, wherever they are. If, they, if it's live, hello. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you're well. And indeed, if it is uh, a VOD, hello. Thank you for making it over here. We are going to start building the... <coughs> Land Raider Proteus, the new plastic one that we've got. Um, here, it arrived the other day. We obviously did an unboxing video for it. It was very majestic. <clears throat> uh, so let's just get it and get stuck into it, shall we? <clears throat> so the Land Raider Legion thingamajiggle Proteus. Um, okay, that's these are the side sponsors sprues instructions. So, we're go I don't, I'm not gonna first things first. I'm not sure if I'm going to attach the tracks now or later. Um, on this kit, you certainly don't need to attach it. In, ta in fact, I'm gonna not attach them now. I just remember there's no sort of armor panels over bits of track, etc. to worry about. We're going to attach the uh, tracks later. So that is just to start that off, but we are going to build... We're going to build two left and right side of these, so let's just get stuck into it. Parts. Um, so obviously this is very similar to the Spartan kit, except the Spartan kit I think has an extra sort of... Um, like an extending bit, right, which goes in right here. So, <clears throat> the B sprue. And we need the inner door section as well. So, for the inner, for this one, we need D1. Question mark? Okay, let's get that. Got the Sunday preview to do as well today. Um, obviously, I didn't stream on Friday. Do apologize. I got the key to. I wasn't expecting to get a key to uh, Dark Tide, but I did. I almost considered streaming that today, but I thought, you know what? Let's let's stay relatively on topic, shall we? So that's D one, B one, and B two. Um, yeah. Okay. I didn't do a post saying I'm going live. Oops. I don't really do going live posts for YouTube for some reason. I should probably start doing that in the future. Then again, the future is, um, well, looks like the house is now being sold. So I don't know when we've got a move date. It is gonna, I'm obviously not going to be streaming while I'll be, I'll be moving, but I'll be streaming as much as I can. Up until then, obviously, you've got to pack stuff up. And then uh, find a place to move to. Currently, do not have anywhere to go to, which is... Uh, <laughs> ah, it's going to be an interesting disaster to deal with. Anywho. Also got to do the rename of the channel. That's going to happen much sooner than I intended, I think. I'm not intending on... on changing the name so soon but um got to claim the claim the names and all that kind of stuff oh, i hated this part on the kratos as well i was found this part very irritating so trying to remember how i did it i think i tried to glue it on basically as quick as possible <laughs> rather because it i will show you in just a second um what we have to deal with so this part here we need B5 as well. Attaches to B5, which is this part up here. All right. <clears throat> Am I missing a bit? I think I am missing one bit. 
<sighs> okay. So, that's this. All right. There's a blade. Hopefully that didn't go into my coffee. I don't believe it did, but one never knows. Um, I've definitely had... I almost shaved... There's a little rivet right there. That's supposed to be there. I almost sort of shaved it off. So let's try and not do that, shall we? And we're not having to deal with any of the tracks, which is definitely a bonus. Um, I'm going to get those painted up on the sprue. Icarus, hello. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday. I hope you are well. So the issue with this part was... Um, <clears throat> attaching this to this. There's not a huge amount of kind of... We need to tidy that up first. However, it's there's not a huge amount of uh, wiggle room for it, and it can be somewhat bendy. So getting it ready to get stuck to the... Um, getting all of this kind of stuck together at the same time is definitely so, uh, a good move. But yeah, I just remember this a bit of a night... It was a bit of a nightmare the first time we came across this little part. Nice relaxing rain dropping in the background. That is a YouTube video. So yeah, it's we're doing a bit of this today. I do have to, like the the dark tide weekend is basically just the weekend, so I don't know what time it finishes, but after this, so that's basically what I'm going to be going back to. Almost streamed it today, rather than this, but I thought, you know, let's stick with this. <clears throat> These things to clean up right here. Um, we're probably slightly out of focus as well. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Going to do a weird zoom in. Might be better. Itch my nose. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Da, 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 da. Right, so what else has gone on over the weekend? Not much. I just basically play. I did. Uh, I, un I did the unboxing video, recorded it, edited it, uploaded it. Um, I also, my brother also, randomly appeared yesterday, which was really nice. I got to see him and his stepson, which was very lovely. Um, had lunch with them. They helped out mum for a second, and then they toodled off back to London. Very, very last minute thing, and uh, I wish my brother. My brother's quite happy doing last minute things, but unfortunately, I already had already had plans for Saturday, so I couldn't really do much. And unfortunately, they couldn't be changed. So, and also, then my cousin also appeared with his new girlfriend, so I also missed out on seeing them. However, another time. So we're going to be looking at the Sunday preview today. Uh, <clears throat> this weekend was remarkably bereft of orders, thankfully for me. Just just had the Land Raider turn up. I do have the new um, Bayard's Revenge miniature turning up as well. This week it's been it was posted off today for some reason. 
worry about that later. Uh, so, I think, I can't make my mind up. I think, I think the Emperor's Champion miniature will be my Imperial Fists company champion. Or chapter champion. I get confused with their loadouts. Especially like the primary... <clears throat> the difference between the Primaris version and the kind of firstborn company champions. There seems to be a difference, I think, in loadouts. I believe that the company champion firstborn has... Sorry. Chapter champion, excuse me, has a sword... And a short sword. The company champion has a sword. And a combat shield. So I think that's the difference on the firstborn. Whereas the Primaris version seems to have... This one here is the... What is he called? Hold on. This is the company champion, so he, in the Primaris form, he has a combat shield. This version, like, as soon as you apparently get, uh, sorry, Firstborn, they have a combat shield. Primaris just seems to have the sword. And uh, nothing else, which is strange. But they don't have shields, as far as I can tell, so maybe it's not so strange. <clears throat> Hopefully my internet's going to be stable today. Seems to have a few, few hiccups today, which has been a bit irritating. Get losing connection. I guess we'll be building this as probably a few times this week. I don't think we're going to get this finished on today's stream because um, I'm a bit of a slow builder. And that is okay. I'm not in a rush. I suppose one thing I should be saying is these doors are not going to be attached. I still, I still think I have a pair of Forge World Land Raider doors somewhere. Obviously, I didn't attach them to my previous Land Raider that I painted up um, because I'd forgotten about them at that point. But now I have an inkling in my brain that I purchased some of the old Land Raider doors a while ago. Uh, the Forge World ones. Failing that, I can always get some, uh, like, printed out potentially or something like that. Anyway, I've got it. Hopefully, in the in the packing that I've got to do, hopefully something will appear uh, in boxes as I go through them, and then I can find out if I actually if I've been hallucinating or not. Hopefully, I haven't been hallucinating. That would be spiffing. <sighs> ba 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 ba. Yeah, so I'll do a bit more of this land raider building this week. After stream, I've got obviously shower, food, all that kind of after, or normal classic after streams kind of stuff. Then I'm going to be back to playing some Dark Tide as much as I can. I'm not going to do any editing more this weekend. Uh, I'm going to get back to the editing first thing tomorrow morning. I've got voiceover to do for the next video, which is Death Guard. Um, I'm also currently painting up a word bearer right there. And then I've got Sons of Horus. Which I have to get finished this week. This week, I've got to get Sons of Horus finished this week, and also tackle Alpha Legion as well, which is going to be tedious. But we'll 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 get try and get that done and recorded, I suppose, and then start recording all the basing videos. Well, as many of the basing videos as we can. I don't know how many we're going to do. Truth be told. Um, I suppose it's not going to be just basing videos. It's going to be potentially just doing more edge highlighting, adding some more details in. The only details I will not be adding in are 
transfers are where I don't have them. I don't, I don't have huge amounts of transfers, and my free handing is terrible. So we will have to just imagine using our. Um, we will do a video on transfers, but uh, I don't think this is really the time going to be where we'll be doing them. I just remembered I haven't prepared the glue, or even located it. So that'll be fun. Bad weekend, any member of my family left arguing with me? That's how you... Oh, God. That doesn't sound remotely good. I hope... Well, I hope that all kind of... Um, I hope that doesn't last. I hope it things could start to look up. Where are we? There we go. Uh, oh god, I've forgotten about this. Okay, so that's the front like that. The back is like where are we? Which bit is it? B2. And I've already lost the part. I haven't even removed it from the sprue. There's B2. This one right here. I thought things were going too smoothly. Uh, oh, there we go. What's up, Don? How's it going, dude? Happy, happy Friday to you. What, uh, what are you up to? I hope you're having a, a good weekend thus far. I was almost going to be streaming Dark Tide today. Almost. Um, I am going to instead play it after the stream. Has been very enjoyable thus far. Friday. Wait, what? Friday? Did I say Friday? I I gotta be honest. I I'm absolutely exhausted. I've got no idea what day it is. Um, Sunday. It's Sunday today. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe I'm already hoping for next Friday to be here. I think that's probably. Folks, if you also want it to be next Friday, I hear liking the stream. <laughs> really helps that. I don't know how. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I did an early stream on Twitch on Friday. We played some Dawn of, um, Dawn of War, God. We played some Dark Tide. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I think I will definitely be getting the game, but I will not be as, like, as always. I won't be pre-ordering. Well, I say as always. I pre-ordered. Itchy nose. I pre-ordered Battlefield 2042, and that was a disaster. Um, but before that, I, I genuinely can't remember the last game I pre-ordered before that. Like, I didn't pre-order Battlefield 5. I be, did I pre-order Battlefield 1? I don't know. Maybe. Actually, that could be it. Maybe Battlefield 1 I pre-ordered. You haven't played any beta or anything? Unfortunately, I do not have a spare key. They have been sort of giving them away a lot more over the weekend. Um, it has been really enjoyable. It, it, I would say, if you played Vermintide, I would say, if you, if you, if, uh, I would say, if you played Vermintide, I would. I have seen people. A lot of people going. Well, not a lot of people. I've seen a fair few people say it's very similar to Vermintide, two. Especially some of the, some of the classes. They're kind of just turned into forty k, which is surprisingly enough. You know, there's definitely comparable. Like there's a zealot in, or a zealot kind of mini, uh, miniature uh, character in Vermintide. 
There's what else we got? There's a dwarf. I don't think we have any Votan type or uh, whatever. Uh, what else we got in there? Got your basic Empire soldier. I think there's a witch hunter. Which I. Yeah, anyway, there's like a pretty, pretty good comparison between Vermintide 2 and this game. Really swamped the last few weeks. If you're making time for yourself somehow, with all with all the work going on as well, though. Ah, oh, dear. We're all ready. We're all ready. Uh, what are we? Sixteenth of October, halfway through the month. Which is it's been it's gone quite quick, quickly, not qu not quite quick quickly. Thus far. Okay, finally. Right. Um, the Votan came out swinging. Yeah, you could say that. I've got a box. I am now technically a, a, vo <laughs> a collector of the Votan. There we go. I've said it. Uh, let's get some of these glued together. I've got the army box set over there. I've done an unboxing video. I haven't edited it yet. I need to, I need to work on editing it and turning it into a video to upload. Um, I just opened it up and gibbered about it for a bit, really. Standard, standard unboxing video. <laughs> Hello. Already got nerfed. And, yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't going to order it. And then, I don't know what happened. It wasn't FOMO or anything like that. But I managed to talk myself into it. Which I'm not surprised. Uh, I was painting the armor panels of the Warlord, but got distracted by the Titanic. These things happen, Icarus. These things happen. <laughs> Okay, let's stick this rascal together, if we can. Okie dokie. I do have the the panel the panel glue. Can't believe I was gonna. Oh crikey! There we go. This glue is dribbling all over the place like a thing. So what else we got to do this month? We got to this week. We got to well build this. We've got the uh, got Lamartis to get back to over on Twitch. The yellow isn't looking like it should, so I added a slightly brighter yellow. One part and the, and the stated yellow three parts. Yeah, well, I, Avalon Sunset is a good base yellow, I think. I mean, I normally... I, I paint yellow differently. I use the airbrush, so... But Avalon Sunset is a good colour. But I, I, painting over... It depends what your colour your primer is. I mean, if you paint over black... I usually, I would usually probably start with a a, a brown, uh, as as bright a brown as I could get away with without it looking horrific. Um, I like Doomble brown, round there at least, and then potentially even brighter. I don't know, it's a difficult one. Yellow is a difficult one. It definitely has its challenges, but it's very rewarding once you get it down. Ah, uh, uh, gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought so too. They were grumbling about the price, as usual. Um, ooh, hello, Betty. Excuse me. So yeah, grumbling about the price. 
they were really dawdling about a lot of it. And uh, like obviously they want the house. It's all, we've already like dropped the price a huge amount, so and now they're just like, oh, we're only going to buy it if you do this, that, and the other. And drop a tiny bit and some more money. So we dropped a token amount. We are doing a few of the things they requested. And if that's still an issue, then we're going to tell them to bugger off. <laughs> Go back onto the market and not move. Yay. Definitely get some vote and I mean, the ones I really want are the chunky ones and a couple of the vehicles. Um, so, But I do have the bikes like and the space wizard, which looks... As much, weirdly, weirdly, as much as I dislike <laughs> Blizzard art style, I want that Space Wizard, which looks like a Blizzard, a Blizzard Wizard. How? What is that? You straight up like their style, and you've. New faction in 40k, I'm all for. Like, I, I got no issues with that. I, the more factions, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I just... I don't know. Some, some of the looks of the characters... I mean, not the, the looks, it's just like their style in general. Isn't... I don't know. I'm going to figure out something. I'll make something work. Ah! Tough time to buy or sell a home in the US? Yeah. Not easy over here either. I mean, the price is not cheap. For one. And then, like, all the financial stuff going on as well. Not helping. Um, the paint mixing is easier with the airbrush. Yeah, exactly. I would definitely say it, it's all oh, cranky. It's, it's definitely easier with the airbrush. And quicker, but uh, the thing is, like, as much as I'd like to... I will end up doing sort of vague tutorials, or at least... I don't know if tutorials are really the right word. Uh, at least sort of like, this is how I painted it. Kind of videos. Um... Like, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not an airbrush wizard. I wish I was. I can do stuff. Paint flies out of the airbrush and goes onto the miniature. That is that is the main... That's all I really care about. Um, I don't really think I'm the sort of person to be doing airbrush tutorials per se, but I will do videos using the airbrush here and there. Cranky, there we go. Oh, cranky, that glue's going all over the shop. Um, so the new sprue cut is basically like all the others on Amazon. It's only the drip. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen. So those new tools which have come out. There's been, there's a new set of clippers. A new drill. A new knife with like the, instead of I see people saying, oh, they use this knife a lot, and they see this, this thing. Loosening as they're using it. Um, I, I definitely do understand that because it has happened occasionally. And I, I don't think it's... like I'm, I'm always going to be using X-Acto knives or indeed the Swan and Morton knives like scalpels, um, which I've got somewhere. I don't tend to use them because I don't really... I keep forgetting to buy the blades, truth be told. So I keep buying X-Acto blades. These are the, I've got two of these. I generally think they're great. Like out of these two, weirdly, I think they're both genuine as well. I think, no, I think this is the genuine one, and I think I purchased this one thinking it was an exacto, but it wasn't. It was just a knockoff. I this is the proper one. Um, funnily enough, I think I purchased this while I was in America. The drills themselves, I obviously haven't looked. At, I haven't purchased any of the GW. Um, the new ones, because they're not out. However, what I can say is I did purchase this one about 20 years ago from GW. Uh, you can get this exact variety from Amazon, and it's absolutely worth it. I, I absolutely love this one. It's got two collets in. 
They're both uh, reversible. Fully stainless steel, very, very delicious, and uh, it's been serving me very well. I purchased this off, off Amazon for six quid because I couldn't, this one was lost for a bit. I think it was like six or seven quid. I, it's, it's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like the build quality doesn't seem as good. I wouldn't purchase, I wouldn't purchase one of these again, basically. It feels like, like this bit of the back is plastic, for example, I think. Yeah, it's plastic. It all feels, it feels cheap. This is the one I, I would buy more of these ones. These are the bad boys to get, in my humble opinion. However, saying that, if GW want to send me stuff, I will absolutely look at it and use it and uh, talk about it. So, we've built that bit, yay. We've got to build this disaster. This is a, it's a frame. So you've got to build these two part nightmare, then attach it to this part and then squish it onto this part. So you've got to do it quite quickly. So I'm going to keep that there, ready to go. I'm going to drink some coffee really quickly. Oh, I'm in the US. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, like, like historically, I don't... I would... GW make miniatures, right? Admittedly. Admittedly. All right. So do Tamiya. Tammy also do plastic kits, but they also make really good tools. So it's not... I have I have seen people on Twitter going, GW is a miniature company. Plastic, a plastic miniature company. Right? Um, like their tools will all have a markup. But then again, I've seen, I've seen Tamiya's tools as well, and Tamiya's kits, and you know... I do like the Tamiya. I don't have any Tamiya. These are the only clippers I use. I would like some God Hands at some point. Or God Hand or whatever the hell you call them. But these bad boys, I think they're called Plano. Plano. Plato. Plato. I'm going with Plato. Um, I think they're, the, I believe they're the originals. They, but I don't know. So we'll get, we'll, um... But now cheaper, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do have this pair of clippers from GW. I've I've used them twice. Um, like compared to these things, like I just the size of the gripper, I find very like. Obviously, I know these things exist. These are a lot more pointy. <laughs> They're somewhat bluntened at the end, so there's like there's less cutting room, I guess. If that's I mean, this is not what the new ones are bringing out. So I have these to look at mostly. These are the ones I use, and I will be getting some more ones at some point. You don't like their tools historically, yeah. I mean, the only historical tool that I liked of theirs is that uh, pin vice, which they used to sell, and I believe it's it's that basically the same model as another company, which uh, I don't know. It's still, you can get that on on Amazon. Uh, let's have a look at this before I get completely sidetracked. So, like that, and then like so. That makes sense. You're the army painter pin vice, I think. You really like it? Hell yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Everyone likes sort of different tools, right? We all have our little kind of preferences and stuff with like what fits in hand, what fits in the one's hand, like I, mean, I guess the right way or feels best. But I would probably struggle. I would I would say you can get just as good stuff uh, for cheaper. Is what is what my uh, probably my go to thing would be. on that. Bit of a divot. Oh well. Okie dokie. So. Blue. Uh, they're really good. These are really... I, oh, crikey, what's happened? 
I saw a whole load of news just appear. Okay. Yeah, these ones here, and funnily enough, a viewer four years ago sent me these. They still seem like really nice and springy. So th these have had four years of constant use. Like the, the writing has indeed like mostly started to kind of go. They feel they feel nice and springy. Um, I would absolutely buy some of these again. They've been really good. Some tools like some models are better than no, absolutely Icarus, yeah. But that that's always the case, isn't it? Okay, so um Joys of plastic glue and its melting properties. Well, we can we can fix any of this. It's not an issue. Worst case scenario, it's weathering. In fact, what we are going to do is we are going to glue these things together. <sighs> okay. Uh, I think stream died. Hello? Hello? Are we, are we good? Oh, we're not... Okay, I, I don't know. Yeah, Mike, I, I almost didn't stream today because... I kept getting some weird connection issues. I hope it's not going to continue. It's really frustrating. Uh, as well as everyone knows, when the internet is it's not working, it's just... sucks. Okay, as I was trying to say, sort of, is that this can go together, <laughs> like so. But we do have a bit of cleanup to do, but as I was saying, uh, it doesn't look perfect, but that's fine. We can always turn it into weathering, not first. I am back. I do apologize. I, I don't quite know what's going on. There is definitely an issue somewhere with the internet. But obviously, it's not obviously not a problem with me. It's... um. Problem with the internet. Everything my side is perfect. Um, big blob of glue. Run that down there. Reno, so you're not feeling well. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that... Um, things are going to start to improve for you. And you're going to feel majestic. I hear buying more plastic helps. That's what I hear. That's, I, I've definitely heard that out there in the ether that buying more plastic is is a, is a winning option. <laughs> Chat has now disappeared somewhere. There we go. Right. So we've got to replicate this on the other side. Also, I've got to keep an eye out for the emails telling me that um, stuff. There is a miniature that I would like to get, by the way, which I will hopefully show you as well. In fact, if I just open up Discord, that probably might help because I get the email. I seem to get the email quicker via uh, Discord than I do via anywhere else, like the walk-on feed. Sunday, Saturday pre-order. Did anyone do any Saturday pre-ordering? That is my question. 
That is my question. And I'm going to stick with that question. Still waiting for your last plastic orders? Yeah. It's best to get them stacked up. Let's get them coming in wave. Every every week, just have some more plastic appear. Yeah, uh, I am working on a uh, word bearers tutorial. So I've, paint, I've, I've recorded painting the armor. I've got the, the metal to do and the black shoulder pad and the lens to do on that miniature. Then we've got Sons of Horus and Alpha Legion, and then I've got all that footage done. I just have to sit down for about th two weeks just doing all the voiceover and editing and all that fun stuff before moving on to the next thing. As, you, as I've said earlier, I won't, I'm not attaching this door because I'm still confident that I have a Forge World door knocking around. So we'll see about that. However, let's do the other side. Uh, B7, oh crikey. I have to do all of that all over again, uh, which is fine. It's, I don't know, maybe I should, problem is it needs to be done. Otherwise I can't like move on to the next bit of the tank. Which is the hull. I mean, it's all it's all very well. And I know this is repeated content. Essentially. Um, but we'll we'll make we'll go as quickly as we can. As long as we don't ruin the miniature, otherwise I'll just have to buy another one again. And that would be almost too terrible to bear. Uh, I'm going to have to wait till I'm feeling better before I start more paint. Uh, and you're dizzy enough? Oh, crikey. No, we don't want any of this going on. You, the, pla the thing is, the plastic will always be there. Unless it gets recycled. Um, Reno. So, concentrate on getting better. And then... Then you can concentrate on making, on doing some fantastic painting. That is what I say. We are having to do a, a, a channel name change, by the way, earlier than expected. Problem is, YouTube have, I've, it's a very, it's fine, it's, they're, they're sort of getting, they're getting with it, finally. YouTube. They're finally allowing people to sort of claim their handle, like, you know, usernames. Um, channel names, so that to cut down on, well, to make it easier to link to other people and all that sort of stuff, but also to be like, this is actually me. This other channel pretending to me to be me is is not me. Um, Etc. So, that is unfortunately the reason why I'm having to go a bit quicker than I intended with the rename of the channel. It, and I'm <sighs> slightly irritated. I wish that, like, it's a great feature, and I, it's, uh, I'm surprised it hadn't been done earlier, truth be told. It's very strange. But we shall, uh, we shall deal with it. So, the, a channel name change is going to happen probably the, by the end of this weekend. Um, I already own the domain name for it. The other bit. Uh, bu -bu -bu I shall live vicariously through you. Well, thank you very much, Rena. Hopefully, you do lots of tea drinking as well, because I've got that covered as well. Oh, God. That's just a bit of a mangle. Oh, no. I'm going to have to buy another Land Raider. Oh, no. That is a disaster. Did I watch Stargate SG1? Oh, hello. That's going back a bit. Unfortunately, Icarus, it's a necessity. So, there's not much I can do about it. Um, yeah, there's not much I can do about it, so... Whereas the only question is, do I? What do I do about the, the um, which name? I suppose that is the next issue. Ouch. Da, 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 da. 
So I wonder when that email is that email going to appear? Saturday pre-orders curses. Still waiting for that Sunday pre-order email to appear. Suppose if I look at the time, and it should be any moment now, apparently, according to my brain. They have, they did drop a. It looks like Mindwork Games have dropped a new miniature, uh, a statue with bust thing, which looks very cool. I am slightly tempted by it, so I'm gonna have to deal with that as well. <sighs> Name change, yeah, I know, Don. I know. Well, the thing is, like, I've got nothing. There's email, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, like in in my name, there's nothing to sort of really say anything about miniature painting, which is uh, an issue, especially when it comes to like the dreaded SEO and all of that sort of nonsense. Um, Unfortunately, that's one of the main reasons why I've, I've got a. There's got to be a name change in that regard to help. Because like like growth on YouTube. I mean, Twitch is terrible as as we all know, but uh, YouTube is. It was all right, and then it's kind of like eh. So I've got to start doing some changes, which are going to affect um. Like starting to get more people in. Obviously, improving the content is obviously going to be uh, a good thing, right? But one thing at a time. Exactly, Reno. Yeah, exactly. So let's let's uh, let's have a look at the Sunday preview, and then I can show you the other thing I want to uh, look at from Mindwork Games. Okay, so here we go. Sunday preview. Uh, Battle beneath the Gnarlwood in a new season of Warhammer Underworlds. Another one already? Wow. I thought we were still in the Netherworlds. Okay. So, Nullwood. I've only got... What's it called? I've only got Night Vault, so I'm way behind. Okay, so you got some Chaos Geezers. Which I'm going to end up... Oh god, these are all in this box, though, aren't they? That's an issue, because I wanted these Skellies, because they look pretty neat. These Skellies look neat. And you get these ones. Unless I can get these from like a bit store. They do look pretty sweet. That is an issue for me, but I don't I don't play this game. I don't really care for it. Uh I just want the miniatures. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. They are cool, yeah. The Icarus, the new name is uh Null Warhammer Underworld's Nullwood. Right here. So it's another season. I don't know are they having two seasons a year, is that correct? I, th I thought we were still in Nether Maze, or whatever they called it. <laughs> Painting Emporium and Haberdashery. <laughs> I do like that, actually. <laughs> uh, do the bases come like that? The bases do come like that. So, yeah. This this is one of the things. Like, whenever I, whenever someone... Like, I bump into someone and they're saying, I, I'm interested in getting into Age of Sigma... I always suggest getting Warhammer Underworld's um, Warbands. Not necessarily the, the game. Obviously, I mean, that is because it's, it's different from Age of Sigma, but the miniatures are all pretty similar. However, the the Nether... The Underworld Warbands, they're all it's sort of individual sculpts. They're easy to build, and they all come with sort of sculpted, pretty fantastic bases. Um, you know? So it's but it's really you can you can test out new schemes. They're also like even if you paint, even if you're just predominantly Age of Sigma or Necromunda or whatever, they're a really nice palette cleanser. It's usually depending on the kind of army, it's usually like sort of seven char seven characters, seven miniatures or less. You've got four there, you got five here, um you know. 
What's this? Arrivals of Never Maze. Okay, so this was in the box set. I wanted to get these Skaven, but I didn't want the box set. Hey, they're coming out separately. Happy days. Okay, folks. So I can get these Skaven and be happy. I gotta say, I do like the, I do like this helmet. If I was ever gonna do Dark Eldar, I'd basically want a bunch of these helmets and have these on the face. Sorry, the Jukakari. Sorry, not Dark Elder. So these two from the Nether Maze are coming out separately. That'll be nice. I'll get the Skaven. Oh, my new name. Oh, it's going to be Glorious Miniatures, I think. Sorry, I thought you meant the new name of the game. <laughs> Icarus. Um, yeah. No, I've, I, I already own the domain name for that, so... Uh, I think that's what the plan is. Yeah, they've done... This is lovely. So I'll be getting those. Well... The Skaven, basically. Not so bothered about them. Premium card sleeves. Ah. Ugh. Diachasm. Oh. Are these all coming out? Okay, so this is this is the other thing I like I do like about Underworlds, right? These were the old warbands that you could get. With they came with the cards. So once once their season has gone. They come out as a separate warband like this. These come with the cards, right? And then once, like, another season's passed, they come out as just the warband. No cards. So slightly cheaper, I believe. So I can get these, finally, because I missed out on them and kicked myself. I've already got them, but forgot to paint them. Do I have these? Car Are they Carrox Reavers? Uh, and then these Orky Boys... The, the Bone Daddies, two, four, six of those. And then the the Moist Elves with the Crab and the Fish. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five Warbands are going to be available to purchase. Which is going to be a good thing. I'm all about that. The Bone Daddies look cool. I, I, I don't like them enough for the... To buy an army of them, definitely. Like I do occasionally consider getting a death army, but it would be all skeletons, and that would be proper skeletons, not these weird constructs. Um, saying that, as I've been saying, like these these small war bands, it gives you just enough of a taste of an army to see if you like painting them. Um, so I could probably get one of these quite happily, and not worry about. I think they're like twenty pounds for fight six miniatures or whatever. You know, I think that's it seems that seems like a good price to me. Obviously, golden gold was this the golden demon? This was the golden demon one, wasn't it? Last year. Hey Jammy, how's it going? What's cracking, dude? Uh the sons of beer mat Japan only. Oh, Japanese fans, the Sons of Beer Mac can also pick up. Why do they get a later release date? I wonder what that calls that. Oh, because it had to be printed in Japanese, maybe? Maybe. Maybe, actually, yeah. Okay, so some, okay, so Dark Imperium Collection. What's this? Uh, in a special slipcase, it contains the novels Dark Imperium, Plague War, and Godblight. Oh, look at all that sweet ultra power. Renegade's Harrow Master. All right. Uh, this dwarf, Grom Brindle. Giant Slayer audio, but okay. So miniature wise, I th think I'm gonna be okay. Except for the Skaven. Except for the Skaven. Right here. Because they're always fun to pay. As are orcs, really. But this is the other thing I want to show you. Oh, hello. So this is from Mindwork Games. Uh, I've got one of their things. I two of their things. I think, in fact, um, yeah, two of their things. I do. I do like their style a lot. This is really sweet. It's a I don't know some kind of not a I don't know some kind of evil thing holding the head of a, a stag or something. Um, there are other sculptures that they do. 
Spooky sails inside. Hair of the moon. This is definitely PG. Just about. Got tactical twitch coverings and everything. Uh, they got some really nice stuff. Mindworkgames.net. I do, I do like it. Really jazzy. I'll put their email link, their link into... Uh, no, don't sign into chat! No! I pressed the wrong button and now they're stupid, stupid thing. Let me plonk this there. Honestly, I've... You made a stupid decision to attempt a super spicy Deathwing challenge and have thus spent most of the last 50 hours wanting someone to put a... <laughs> Jamie Dodger, I'm so sorry to hear that. What's the issue? Talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Um, can't believe I pressed the wrong button there. What an idiot. So this evening after stream, I've got to get some food. Then I'm going to treat myself to some dark tide. Uh, and now, now I have to look at chat, not in OBS. It's going to make life more awkward. Definitely need a shower, though. I was almost considering a shower before the stream started. And then I looked at the time and thought, oh, God, a bit too close. Ah! You back on the Destiny 2? Oh, yeah. How's that treating you? How, how has that been treating you? I'm not saying I've... I'm not saying I'm going to be playing Call of Duty next week because the uh, campaign drops early. The idiots who pre-order. Uh -huh. Actually, I pre-ordered that, damn it. Um, but I'm going to be playing Call of Duty next week, the campaign. I can't wait. So, <laughs> I love the original campaign. Like, uh, Well, the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare campaign was awesome, but the second one is also very awesome. I'm looking forward to giving those a tickle. Whoop, get these things. Um, ba 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 ba. Was Dark Side well? You could it Reno. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have saved the vod over on Twitch. I will be uploading the vod to my YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel, which contains all my old vod. Well, some of my old vods. I need to make a lot of them live, rather than kind of um, they're just like currently private. So I need to I need to make them all live and all that kind of jazz. I really enjoyed it. I need to sneeze. I feel like there's a sneeze waiting. I feel like there's a I have a sensation that I've got a sneeze waiting just like there. Um <laughs> So I, yeah, I, re I, found, I found it very enjoyable. There were, you know, it's it's a it's the beta weekend, right? Or beta, if you're that way inclined. Um, so there obviously, you know, server issues and all that kind of jazz. It wasn't horrific. There were obviously di disconnects as they were reconfiguring. The, it, they seem to be reconfiguring and doing uploads as. Um, as 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 I was playing, so I occasionally had to up, do an upload if they, I guess, if they discovered anything weird or they were having to do live patches. So that was cool. Uh, I only played as the zealot and the Astra Militarum Giza, the veteran. Uh, for, I'm really enjoying the veteran hitting people with a shovel. Very enjoyable. Um, my my zealot. She is also a lot of fun. I, but I haven't unlocked nearly enough, so it's one of those things where you got to put time in. Get those. I, I basically wanted the hammer for the zealot, and I haven't unlocked it. I've unlocked a sword for the guardsman, though. I can definitely see playing more of it in the future. Um, that does mean I actually have to buy it, of course, but you know. I 
Okay. Yeah, Don, I you know what I was I was feeling very after Battlefield 2042 pre-ordered disaster. And bearing in mind that was the first pre-order I'd done in maybe a decade. I don't know, maybe not a decade. Anyway, it's the first pre-order in ages at least. Um, I felt sort of vaguely confident that Battlefield 2042 was going to be what I, <laughs> what it seemed to be. Um, and I, I was very... kind of uh, dubious about pre-ordering COD 2. However, having played the beta weekend, I... Frankly, as long as it's Modern Warfare rather than Vanguard, I'll be happy. I've never, you know, I, I, I just like contemporary. I don't really want the, the jetpack stuff either from was, uh, uh, the fu Future War or whatever they called it. I just like contemporary kind of... For my COD games, at least, I like... And my Battlefield, I like contemporary. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, hold on. Let me catch up. I know I missed something. I got a scratch on my eye. I got some. Uh, I got itched or something. Every issue that could probably possibly arise from eating twenty million Scoville. Wait, what? How many jammy? Wait, what? Hold on. Did I completely misread your sentence? Okay, okay, so Jamie. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're gonna back bearing in mind that we're like mostly GW well, miniature based, right? When you said Deathwing, I thought you meant you were painting like a lot of Deathwing. I thought I was gonna be like, yo. Alright. So get an airbrush. Start smacking the paint down. Easy. Uh and now you're saying you got now, okay, so 20 million Scoville hot wings. Hot wings, okay. Uh, stomach cramps, a lot of insanely... Well, I mean, hot... wings are disgusting anyway. So, Jamie, that's your first issue. Um, insanely, insanely spicy vomit. Oh. Oh! Why would... Boggles my mind, Jamie. I'm so... <sighs> that just sounds like utter misery. How long has this been going on for? Drink lots of water and just flush your system. Uh, it didn't even beat the challenge. He ran out of time because they were the whole wings rather than the traditional drum. Yeah, this is... And double but Yeah. Yeah. Reno. So the chaos... Uh, thus far, the enemy has been kind of... Plague. Yeah, so... De um. Death Guard kind of things, right? You've got... Poxwalkers? And naughty, plague, plaguey kind of uh, Astro Militarum. You know, Chaos Cultists, if you will. There is... There's Plague Ogrins. There are... There's a bigger Plague Ogrin. There are some Bulgrins which have, like, great big slab shields. It's not a Chaos Warrior, is it? I'm pretty sure there are going to be Chaos Warriors in it. It would seem weird if there weren't, but not hordes of them. Although, I don't know. That's just a guess. Um, it's all Death Guardy, though. Oh, dear. Battle damage on your Warlord. Mm, I'm so conflicted about that, Icarus. Like, I do, I do genuinely like a nice, pristine miniature, but then again, I think to myself damage. Ah, oh, Titan... No. No, no. I've, I've, I've got Titanfall 2. Although, weirdly, I've still not played it. I purchased it years ago. Never played it. I purchased the first Titanfall. Loved it. But yeah, for like COD and Battlefield, I like contemporary. I don't know why. Black Ops was... Like, the first Black Ops was cool. I dug that one. The zombies aspect of it, I didn't care for at all. I didn't really care about it whatsoever. I played it a tiny bit and uh, ignored it. And yeah, we're getting really sidetracked. You tried Overwatch 2. It's awful. 
Well, it's Blizzard. That's all I gotta say. I I dislike Blizzard. Blizzard Blizzard Wizards. Uh the art style. I should like I've never been one for the liking their particular art style. I suppose I should clarify. I'm sure the majority of people who work there who are employed by the um overlords there are utterly fabulous. Obviously very talented, but I just don't like their art style. Sorry. Uh, you got a tool for battle damage? Oh, there's a battle damage tool, is there? What? Are you not going to do painted effects? You're going to do actual battle damage. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I've only done battle damage on one vehicle. In fact, I painted it up in March. It was a dreadnought for my ultramarines. Um, I did that battle damage, I think, with a with a pin vice and a soldering iron, with the sort of sort of pointy tipped uh, end. Once I found the miniature again, I I was a bit. I was kind of irritated that I did it because, like, none of the other miniatures in the army had that battle damage on, so I was a bit conflicted about it. Uh, my friend Garant said you should have taken Belial as he's the master of death. <laughs> hey, I'm glad I'm glad I wasn't completely confused. You got tired of Overwatch a long time ago? Yeah, I mean, I I was trying to remember. I think when I dropped out of Team Fortress Two, I think Overwatch was vaguely starting up. Um. When was over when was Overwatch dropping? The first one. Maybe maybe it, maybe there might have been a year or two when I when I wasn't really doing Team Fortress 2 either. It might have been a couple of years, I can't remember. But I when I saw Overwatch coming out, it did it did raise an eyebrow, and then I thought, oh god, no. Not for me. I hope so, Don. I hope so. I, it would be great if there was... It would have to be one or two... Um, um, sorry. It would have to be one or two kind of space marines. You couldn't have, like, squads of them. Because you're you're an Ogryn, an infra infantryman. You get a wizard and a, a zealot. Uh, like, those four against a couple of space marines I can see... As like maybe as like baddies, like the big baddie, or like the the once or twice per level. But also at the same time, why would you get one just one space space marine just rocking around town, you know, on its own? Still on hundred percent. It was Friday night jamming. Listen, you're not going to do this again, are you? You you've learnt your lesson, hopefully. And then what we learnt from our lesson is just just don't have chicken wings. They're disgusting. I'm I'm blaming it mostly on the chicken wings rather than the twenty million Scoville sauce coverings. <sighs> Even just an NPC that shows up to wreck some crap. Okay, an NPC. Yeah. I don't I don't want to I don't want to play it. Just to clarify, I don't want to play as a space marine. I think that would. Um, I mean, we got Space Marine 2. I've said that now, so now it's getting pushed back another month. So apologies for that, folks. If, if you're hoping for it uh, on, you know, to be early, it's now a month later. However, saying that, I'm going to be getting my Space Marine enjoyment from that game. I, I don't need to be playing as one of those in that game. I would be... I think it would definitely ruin the dynamic because people would end up going four space marines in the squad. <laughs> and then the guardsmen people they come up against are easy peasy then. So either as an enemy a very, very, very low count enemy like or it's like an NPC which appears like once or twice that you have no control over. 2015-ish? Oh, okay. Oh, I don't... I didn't... Mm. I think I stopped playing Team Fortress 2 in about 
must have been 2013 or something. So yeah, it wasn't. It, I didn't drop from one and think about the other. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, let's get this rascal not stuck together. We've got bits more. The space beam would be godlike, exactly. Like if 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 it was if there were too too many of them or everyone could play as a space marine, it would just be okay. I like I like the aspect of of these games um, where you're just a mortal, a mortal human, fleshy and sort of weak, and where space marines are ridiculously OP compared to them. You know, I also balancing that would be really weird. Have I seen the damage to armor plate on World War Two era ships? Are they just basically holes? You get like a yeah, sort of a vague a hole here with probably maybe some burn marks around it, and then on the other side it's just like absolutely ruined. So only show that to put things in perspective a couple of times. Yeah, exactly, Don. Yeah, I think we're probably on the same page there. I'd sooner drive off the. But okay, but I'm butchering this name. Burj Khalifa, face first into into a railroad spike, than do anything like that ever again. Why would you do? It? it boggles my mind when people do it in the first place. I know there's the whole like, oh, can I do it? Can I? And then you just turn into a hot, sweaty mess. Like, I can think of you know, obviously we're PG here, but I can think of mu I can. Think of much better ways to achieve that. <laughs> you know? Uh, you're excited for Space Marine 2? Yeah, likewise. It's going to be good. Hopefully. Let's not get too, let's not get too carried away. <laughs> okay, where's... Oh, God. I think I've got a bit of sprue in my eye. And this is just not helping. Ah, but it just feels really good. Uh... Yeah, a mini boss. Yeah, I mean, I don't think a Terminator powered. I th I think those four characters that we have access to, like obviously there have been some full Ogryn parties. Um, I like the Guardsman. Truth be told, currently that's my main. I leveled it up to almost eleven, so I can start getting some of the missions and stuff. So yeah, Terminator would be completely OP. Um, I reckon a regular Space Marine, but also it's, it's, I'm slightly confused as why maybe you'd find just one Space Marine in a level, like surrounded by Plague Marines. Oh, sorry, pl uh, like Renegade Militia and Poxwalkers. I suppose if it was like a character wizard, character Space Marine of some variety... I suppose, maybe? I don't know. Dusty of scorch marks and such, and it crumples the armor just like... Well, oh, okay. You heat the tool up and then press it against the armor. Ah. Ah. Huh. A bit of sprue... I don't know. There's definitely... This, like, doing this is not helping, but unfortunately, um... It's a really bad habit of mine. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's just stick this together. Uh I've been burnt by game hype, yeah. Like last time I was burnt by game hype, Battlefield 2042, but but that was the first game that burnt me in a long time because I I'm trying to remember the last game that I'd purchased, pre-ordered, and I was burnt by that. Um Okay. I'm gonna have to ponder that one. I really can't remember. I've definitely purchased games in the past and they've been absolute drivel. Utter drivel on release. And uh, I just wanted to yell at previous Badger and say, why Why did you do this? You're an idiot. Because you listened to the hype, Badger, and you believed in the hype. You believed in the hype too much. And as a result, you got burned by the hype. The hype burnt you. Uh, shooters, blood and teeth look amazing, though. Have you tried the demo? Uh, oh, the demo of what, Reno? Sorry. Speaking of Modern Warfare 2, I played their ground war mode. Yes! Yeah, Don, I was going to say that. I hadn't 
I haven't really spoken about COD Warfare, Modern Warfare, whatever that game. Um, <laughs> the the Ground War version that I was playing in the beta, it did really remind me of of uh, Battlefield, and I thought, oh, God, you know what? This might be it for me. I might be actually happy with a Call of Duty kind of almost Battlefield, not rip off, but you know, kind of thing, and that was nice. So I'm really hyped for that. I like way more action. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, Don. It's a very stupid decision. I've learned my lesson. All right, good. No, I'm glad to hear that, Jammy. <laughs> I pre-ordered Cyberpunk. Oh, God, yeah, I wouldn't. Thing is, I didn't like Witcher 3. I thought it was trash. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, and I know I get... People... Uh, think I'm incorrect, but I am, in fact, actually correct on that one. I thought it was trash. <laughs> so. Uh, I was nowhere, I wasn't interested in, I wasn't remotely interested in purchasing Cyberpunk, although I liked, I was kind of, I liked it, the idea and the aesthetic. But deep down I knew that I couldn't. Hold on, what are we doing? Am I doing this correctly? Yeah. <laughs> I got so confused for a second. Um... <sighs> I pre-ordered Cyberpunk and I didn't have any issues like the, like any of the other... Th Hold on. I didn't have any issues with that. Only other thing I pre-ordered in recent memory was Total Warhammer 3. Yeah, I came close to getting Total Warhammer 3. Do you know what the only thing that put me off purchasing that game? Pre-ordering it, at least? I, I fully expect to end up getting it, by the way. As, uh... I'm, I'm terrible at those games. I've tried... I've tried so many of the Total War games. I've tried... Total War Empire. I've got... Medi... Was it Medi... Um... Shogun. i got a variety of the Total War War games, right? I've got Total War Hammer 1 and 2... And that means I will get the third one at some point. And I do like doing it, but I'm absolutely terrible at the games. It's I wish I was better at them. But unfortunately, the reality is um, I'm terrible. So that's why I didn't pre-order. I thought, you know what? You're going to get it later, Badger. You're going to get it when it's on sale. You don't need it now. It's not like... You'll be all right. Uh, Don, you heard me. Yeah, you heard me. That's all I gotta say. You're also super keen on seeing their take on Tarkov. Sorry, whose take on... Oh! Uh, Call of Duty's venue... What's, what's their mode called? Why did I think it was trash? No, 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 no. Jammy. I, I probably spoke incorrectly. I didn't think I knew it was trash. I, I didn't think I knew it was trash. Yeah. They fixed it all now. Yeah. I have heard Battlefield 2042. I know you weren't talking about Battlefield 2042, but... I have heard it it seems to be getting better but it's just it's just too late. It's too late. DMZ that was the one. Yeah, I am looking forward to that. That is going to be um that could be fun. You just picked up Cyberpunk on your PS5 and holy crap did you get sucked in. You really liked it a lot. I love the aesthetic of it. I just Thing is, there are only so many games you can play, right? There are only there are only so many hours in the week, in the day, in the year. I w I would like to play more games, to be honest. But um, short of scrapping my U uh, Twitch channel and just, <clears throat> I have pondered it. I have pondered just playing games on Twitch, and doing the mini paint mini building right here. But I just don't think that's going to be great. But yeah, I just I just don't have enough time to play all the games I'd like to play. 
So, I don't know. Where is this thing? Here we go. Uh, you pre-ordered the Airfix Nimrod kit? So, yeah, pre-ordering a plastic kit, I don't think is quite the same as a... Quite the same as a game, at least. Like, there might be similar amounts of money for certain, for sure, but generally, if you know, like, a company, you know vaguely how their kits go together and all that, that kind of jazz. I guess. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing stuck together. All right. Um... There I am wondering why my messages were so delayed and I've got the stream three or four minutes behind. Yeah, Icarus, I've got to be honest, also on my side of things, obviously I'm, I'm up to date. I'm reading chat. It should be in live chat, but it's in top chat. Doesn't make a difference. Um, like I think the delay between what I, what I say and what you hear, there's a definite delay as well that I have got no control over. I've got it on ultra latency mode or something like that. So that should be almost instantaneous, but there's definitely a delay. Um, okay, I'll rephrase. What's trash about Witcher Three? Not trying to. Oh, I just didn't like it, Jammy. I just didn't. I thought it was overrated. I mean, <laughs> I just thought it was overrated. I could not get into it at all. Um, what the hell are we doing here? Oh, it's this thing here, isn't it? Oh, crikey. It's this bad boy. It's going, it's going together now. And I know that doesn't really give you a proper answer. And to be honest, I, I didn't put enough hours into it to... be able to give you a proper answer, because I wasn't really sort of pulled into the game enough. Like, they lost me. You know, they've got to have something interesting so quickly to sort of uh, get my attention. Otherwise, you know... <laughs> Just, just why? And I know a lot of people say, "Oh, you have got to give it twenty hours, and then 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 it gets good." I don't know. I'm just pulling that as a number. I just pulled out of my head. Um. <laughs> uh, it's like Metal Slug. Wait, what? The Victor kit I pre-ordered. Oh, the Victor. Okay, the Nimrod is because I won a flight. In for a patrol. Oh, okay. Uh, Anti-submarine sweep the North Atlantic in an airframe that's basically the first ever jet airliner modifying to add into Bombay. Oh, those the good old days. The smell inside was something else. Sweat and sweat and air and aviation fuel and I don't know what else. I don't know what else it would be. Metal, old metal. Hype cycles are the real villain though. Uh, that's what leads to rushed subpart. Yeah. I also think, like, stockholders, not necessarily the stockholders, the people who are beholden to the stockholders, pushing for quicker release dates. Google search for a pick of the Nimrod. Oh, I, I'm well aware of one. Yeah, I know I know the Nimrod. Due to Luther and the, uh, it's like Metal Slug. Oh, it's, okay, sorry, Reno, yeah. Years ago now, but it convinced you to become a pilot. Um, yeah, at school, like, at the boarding school I was in, we had to go join the RAF cadets or the army. There wasn't the navy, because we weren't by the sea. Or a lake, for that matter. So, I ended up going to the army. <laughs> cadets, admittedly. So, we did all that sort of army stuff at 16. Uh, one of the chaps I in my boarding house... Well, we had a few of them going to, like, the RAF. who They, they sort of flew, like, Planes? Somehow? I don't know. I know they did go flying. Uh, one of them, in fact, ended up... Um, continued into the RAF full-time after... I, get, I don't know if they did A... They did A-levels, but I don't know what they did after that. I think they might have just gone straight into the RAF. And uh, one of them's ended up... I think flying... Was it GR4s? Those are Typhoons, right? Maybe? I don't know. Um, and also flew with the Red Arrows for a, I, I don't know, what do you call them? A, it's not a tour, is it? It's like one cycle, I think. Maybe even two. 
Um, Shoot of Blood and Teeth. Oh, it's a game name, is it, Reno? Admittedly, it took me a good three or four attempts before uh, I really got into it, but everyone needs to like everything. Not everyone, no, exactly, exactly, Jammy. I, I know it does wind people up when I say I dislike Witcher 3. And it is, it is strange to me, because I do kind of like... Those sorts of games, but there's just there's a lot of those aspects. I'm just like, eh, you know what? Eh, <laughs> I can do without it. It's fine. Like I'm not, I'm not going to be worrying about it. Okay, let's get this rascal stuck together, and then we can get it straight on here. Um, it's a 40k game. Co oh, Reno. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I was, <laughs> I was getting very confused. Um, hopefully, well, I'll have a look at that. Question is, is it going to be good? So, we do this and then we quickly smack it onto this thing as quickly as we can. Uh, okay. God, I hate. Oh, you little rascal. I really dislike this bit of the kit. This is the most irritating part. So, let's get some glue on here. Uh, the RF told me to fly, but I never fitted in with the others. It's... You're not posh in any way? Well, having never been in either of them, I don't... I have zero experience about that aspect of it. Um... In fact, I think he's the only person I've known... Like in the RAF, personally, uh, he was South African guy, but he that he was like all about it. Hello, okay, so. look at that! Oh, magical. Get it, get it on onto this thing as soon as you can, because then it won't have any like warping issues or anything. Yay! Okay, so we got the rest of this to build this week. We got the hull to do probably tomorrow and stuff like that. I know we haven't done a huge amount today. Just to clarify that we're not putting the doors in. I'm still desperately hunting for the um, Imperial Fist Land Raider doors, so uh, or whatever they are, so that I can get them in. I know that I know they exist in this house somewhere. I just need to make locate them uh what will i do i need to do worry about that later sand a lot of this down um to make sure that it's flush. Yeah, that's good. Goody gumdrops. Uh, you dropped a link in Discord for me. The demo is so much fun. Hell yes. Well, this is why I do. I do get very conflicted about like in the good old days when I used to get um, PC Gamer magazine, and it was, it was predominantly PC Gamer magazine. Um, in the good old days, you used to get a on the front of it. You got CD or DVD, whatever it was at the time, that contained a bunch of demos and various other like bits and pieces. Like all the old, all those old PC magazines, they used to have sort of demos for games, demos for programs, free web, shareware programs, and all that kind of stuff, um, which was great. But now demos, the only way you seem to be get to be able to get them, a lot of the times, especially for the larger games, is pre-ordering. Um, I was I was lucky enough to get in on the creator thing. Uh, sorry, the 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 Dark Tide. Uh, what do they call it? Whatever the beta is at the moment, uh, closed beta. Um, 
they did they did bung out loads of extra codes after the fact, but that's fine. I'm very glad I got in on that, and I didn't have to pre-order, which made me very happy. It's definitely increased the likelihood of me purchasing it in the future, though, having played it now. But locking behind beaters behind uh, pre-orders, etc., I think is a trash thing, and I hate it. Love them demo disc. Introduce me to one of my all-time favorite games, Red Faction. I remember Red Faction. I trying to remember when I even played it last. Red Faction was awesome. I remember it introduced me to I think it Call of Duty, um, Call of Duty, Command and Conquer, like the very first one. So we got the hull to do. We've done we've done these bits. Okay, I'm as I said earlier in the stream, I'm going to be doing the tracks on the sprue. Okay, so we're not going to be worrying about that. Next stage is the sort of... This is the exhaust stack assembly. It fits onto this back piece right here. I need a shower. My God. Uh, so that's going to be what we're going to do tomorrow. And then we've got to build one of these three options. So within this kit, you can get the carrier version, which is what I'm going to build. Although... I'm only going to build half of it because this door situation is tied into that door there. Like, you get the front flaps... And the doors bits. So, anyway, so you can. I'm building this one, but you can build the exploratory version, which has either a hull mounted weapon or not. So, I wouldn't, I'm not going to be building these, but you got the little dozer blade. Um, I just, it's just not for me. I, I, I don't have enough points invested in this game to even consider having this as an option. It makes like rough, tough. I don't know. Terrain pass, uh, tests, it passes those fine, and it's got, like, extra sensors and things, but I won't be doing that one. So, but it is an option within this kit. But, like, these, there's an Imperial Fist door flap thing that comes in a set with the doors, so uh, I need to locate it to really finish this kit off. That's basically my goal. The demo is free on... Yeah. No, sorry, I should have... I should have... I tried to clarify, but got sidetracked. Um, like I know a lot of a lot of companies do do free demos, thankfully, and that is a good thing. But like the majority of, it seems to me at least, like, I don't buy as many games as I used to. I used to buy loads of games. Um, it seems to me that a lot of AAA games will say seem to have their beaters locked behind pre-purchases and all that kind of jazz. But I could be really mistaken on that. However, folks, we, um, I am painting this mini up. This word bearer. I got to paint the black shoulder pads and the metal parts of its, um, and like the rivets and this chest thing. And then I got to do the eyes. And then he is basically done. Then that video is done. Then I've only got two more space uh, space screens to paint: a Sons of Horus and Alpha Legion. I've already painted up the Raven Guard and the and the Salamander. I've done a Salamander video. It's already recorded. He is upstairs, though, so I can't show him off. But I, of that video will be dropping once I've edited them all. Uh, let me, let me, let me, yeah, it's around about the right time. Folks, if you've also... I can't link you to the... Mo oh, I know what I would like you to do. Just as a last thing. Um, if you have not voted on this yet, please do. That is a it's a poll. Basically what, what the next um I'm gonna start build I'm, well, I'm gonna start. At some point in the future I've got to start building sort of combat patrols. Um I've already got a Blood Angels one, so I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna turn them into videos somewhat. The Blood Angels one is a bit weird though, because that's part of like I've got a Blood Angels army, so some of that will be a bit different, but I will be painting up combat patrols. And I'm also Gene Stealer Cult. Um, I've got enough Gene Stealers cult minis um, to paint separately from the... So that won't... I won't be painting up that one, but I think I'll try and do as many of the others as I can. <sighs> Orcs is winning. Only just, though. Only just. I mean, that's that's fine, because like the Black Templars like fighting the Orcs and vice versa, so like I'll be happy getting both. I'm not fussed. Um... And orcs is all, or, orcs is always fun to paint, so that could potentially. I'm going that poll is going to end tonight, like 
when I wake up tomorrow morning, whatever's winning is going to be what I'm going with. Just so we know. So get your votes in. Uh, to sort of help the channel, I guess, with a bit of direction. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to probably say this is the end of the stream. I know it's almost as shocking as, I don't know. But the thing is, it's 6.45 here in the UK. I need to shower food and all that kind of jazz. And then I'm going to... Plan is, I'm going to play some Dark Tides tonight. Once I've done all of that stuff, I, I've got to do a tiny bit of painting. But I will be streaming it into my Discord at some point. Uh, somehow. Once I figure out how to do it, at least. I'll, I'll do my best to stream it into the Discord if I can. Uh, in case you missed out on any of it. It's going to be a lot of fun. But it ends tomorrow, so I've got to get a few more hours in before it finishes. Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for hanging out with me today, folks. If you are watching the VOD, please make sure you subscribed. That is fantastic. We're moving on to our next goal of a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. And uh, as, as the adverts say, every little helps. So uh, please do so. Um, and I will see you in the next one. We are going to be live tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. UK time, uh, where we're going to continue building this Land Raider. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And then I go over to Twitch. Also, a name change will be happening. The name will be changing of this stream, of this channel. But if you've already subscribed, you'll just see the name change. You, I don't think anything will change for you apart from the name. Um... You've all been absolutely... I'm going to tickle... Yeah, absolutely tickle that button like you've never tickled the button before. Uh, folks, I hope you have a, a lovely rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as, as always. Uh, I'll either see you in my Discord, exclamation mark, Discord. See if that works. And uh, it should work. If the bot is even awake. Anyway, if it's not awake, that's fine. It is awake. There we go. So there's the link. Hopefully I'll see you in there or I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. And uh, goodbye.